So, you want to learn how to control the world's best 3D texturing software. Not a problem. Now, I'll be using the 2022 version of Substance, and for those of you who don't know, Substance is a software that they use for virtually every single AAA level professional movie, game, and animation. Every 3D asset you see come out of Hollywood, Lucasfilms, Pixar, Disney was basically textured in Substance. It's 140 bucks for a one-time pay license, and I highly recommend you get it now because there are rumors that the 2023 version will no longer offer a one-time perpetual license. So there's no guarantee that this offer will stay available past this year. Again, this is not a sponsored video. The software is just really damn good. Anyway, in today's video, we will just go over the controls. So once the software is open, if you go to file, you can find sample projects over here. And from this point, anytime you want to control the camera, it's basically the exact same way it is in Unity or Maya. Just hold alt and left click to rotate the camera, alt right to zoom in and out. You can also scroll up and down on the wheel, alt middle click to pan the camera. And if you hold shift while left click rotating the camera, you will be able to snap to perfect 90 degree angles. And something useful to note is the pivot point of the camera depends where your mouse is located on the model before you start to rotate. If you hold shift and then right click instead of the camera, you will rotate the light source instead. And you can see how the light source affects the texture in real time. The controls for the 2D view are the same as the 3D. You can scroll up and down to zoom in and out, hold alt and right click to drag for more precise zooming, alt middle click to pan, and alt left click to rotate. And as usual, you can hold shift to snap to perfect angles while you to do this. Now normally it defaults to the 3D and 2D windows view simultaneously. But if you go to the top right over here, you can pick a full 3D view, a full 2D view, swap the views, or even detach the view windows entirely. If you change your mind, just close the windows out and click the view you want again like so. And of course you can use the F keys as hotkey shortcuts if you want. If you are working on a particular area, you can hide or ignore a specific geometry by pressing this button. Once pressed, it will show you only what you are working on. Now I normally stick to the defaults, but for those of you who love to personalize your workspace, it's very similar to ZBrush in that you can literally drag anything anywhere you want. Like seriously, if you see a window, just try grabbing it and usually you'll be able to place it however you like. And if you mess everything up and you just want to go back to the defaults, just go to Window and Reset UI. And lastly, if you press Tab, you'll be able to toggle the UI on and off whenever you want. If you right click, you'll open the Properties window, which is everything that you need to control your brush. Hope that helps and as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.